Hey everyone, um, I'm back with um, a few questions I got on my um, Line 6 uh, Spider uh, review for the software. And I'm going to show you how I configure the amp to be a sound recording device on my laptop, which is running Windows 10 at the moment. Um, so basically, I want to go into my your settings. I mean, it may be different for everyone else, but... Um, once you plug in your spider into um, your USB port, and it's going to use a USB Type B to Type A um, <clears throat> plug-in, which is going to be I have one right here, and this is what a lot of um, devices will use when it's uh, kind of computer to computer or like interface to interface and all that um, they can be cheaper online than going to like Best Buy Walmart or any other tech store that you can think of sometimes they're cheaper but you just gotta go out and look there's easy uh, there's I believe on eBay it's about six dollars for about one that's like six feet I mean it's not that long maybe the maybe a three foot maybe I don't know, but um, mine's isn't um, going too far, so I have a shorter one on my amp, but I use a Simmons uh, SD200 electric drum kit, and I use the same type of cable for connecting that to my laptop as a MIDI input device when I do drums. Because that will actually play the drums. I know there's a lot of people that use either the MIDI keyboard or even the keys on their laptop or PC. And they'll use that as a MIDI, um, MIDI keyboard and use a plug-in or something like that. And they'll do the drums or they'll even get like looped um, tracks as well. But I like to play the riffs and then put the drums on them. I'm not, I haven't tried doing drum riffs and then putting guitar with that. I usually just fit the drums with the uh, guitar tracks. But as you see, once the, um, <clears throat> once the uh, M Spider is plugged into your laptop, even if it's the first time, you're going to have to give it a few seconds or a minute or two for it to download for your laptop or whatever to download the appropriate drivers. In order to uh, run it as an input device or as a USB um, input so you'll see it here I have two right now I have my um, blue snowball microphone which is right there and I use ma mainly the input as the spider V I mean you can choose you can change whichever one you want this is just for your system properties but um, I mainly go through Reaper. Let me bring this over real quick. So you'll go to I mean there's the, there's there's hotkeys to do this, but I just go down go down to preferences. Let me drag this over here. And you'll even see uh, I use the Simmons SD two hundred and it's not enabled at the moment. This is for MIDI, but uh, you'll see under the audio tab you hit device. Um I had a few issues with um different I'm, I'm not sure if the issue will happen here where when I play anything it'll come out garbled or chopped up or whatever but um I usually just stick to uh, wave out 32 bit whatever here at least I try to I'm, I'm messing with the settings constantly with Reaper and it's not too friendly with this I mean you'd probably have a little bit easier time just downloading um, different plugins and stuff and using an interface like Focusrite or or something like that which I do have for a base but I don't really play that as much um, but uh, this should be right and I should have everything set up from my previous recording I'm not sure if it's gonna work I know I won't really hear it, but uh, let's see if I can. <clears throat> and 
and it'll tell you, you know, if there is input going in and you have to have it armed and the correct input for the Reaper configuration. So I'll just hit record and noodle around a little bit. Let's see, it might sound terrible, who knows. Let's just see how it sounds. That sounds pretty good, right? I did change a little bit of a few settings on uh, my preset here. I just noodled around with a lot of different EQs and stuff and uh, different aspects like really with the amp and everything I down I dubbed down the early refraction reflections and I think I lowered the presence and a few other things I just messed around with it to find a little bit of a better tone but um <clears throat> but that's that's pretty much how it's configured um you're you might be a little different so you might have to try and search uh, for forums online with line six to see how it can be configured as this but this is how I'm configured I use it as a input device for recording so um, that's pretty much it um, a few another question was asked if you can edit you know different like the preset drum tracks or anything like that but you can't but I will link a forum where you can read and Line 6 is looking to add that to later amplifiers, but right now I'm, there's nothing you can do with um, the drum loops or anything like that because it does have drum loops. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear it. Nah, I'm not going to play it. But it does have like um, different grooves from metal to rock to slow to jazz to all this different thing. At least... Each drummer has its own little loop for it, so you can play some riffs over it. Um, but that's all I can say right now. But this is um, pretty much how this works. Uh, as far as presets downloaded, I'm not sure completely how to do that for this. Um, but I just updated. The uh, firmware, or I updated the because you have to. If you do this on desktop, you can download. Let's see if I can drag these two over here. You gotta download these two. If you can see these here, you have to download Spider Remote and the Line Six Updater in order to use these. And when you use the Line 6 updater, it's going to be the first thing you use. And you have to have your device connected. You have to have an account. You have to have the uh, serial number um, added to your account so it can register the update process. Let's see if I can pull it up right now. I'm not going to update it because then it will shut everything off um, if it loads, if it wants to load. Um... Second, no. Uh, I'm not sure why the device didn't um, register in here, but it'll it'll have your device listed, and you can have multiple ones. But this is basically what it is. I don't know why it's not listed. This is a little bit of a bug. I'm not sure if because it, they're always putting new versions of it out, so. When it comes to that, you're just gonna have to look at the website, or even it'll tell you when new versions are available. Not so much the uh, remote, but everything else is pretty pretty solid for this. So, hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them, even if I have to do research on it. So, um, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, share. And um, see you in the next one.